In this lesson, we'll finish up the hair for our character by cleaning up and detailing some smaller areas. All right, so this is kind of where we left off in the last lesson, and um, I worked a little bit more in between lessons, but not a whole lot, because I want you to kind of see what I'm going to do in this last step. So um, we spent, you know, a lot of time kind of just darkening and bringing in more color to make this hair look brown. Now, looking at kind of this area right here, some of the things that I've started to do, and I want to continue in this lesson, is bringing more of kind of a, a striated feel to it. I've started dividing some of the areas, like this one right here, up, um, and basically pulling out some additional forms now that we have the values kind of built up here. So um, now thinking about that, let's go ahead and grab, I'm working with a kind of a dark burgundy or purple color here. Um, and you can see that color right there. So let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and just jump up to maybe, maybe we'll go with this one right here. I'm just going to kind of run this in this area just a little bit and kind of build up the values for kind of this area that I'm starting to define here. And we'll shrink our brush a little bit, maybe go a little darker. I'm kind of working both directions now. I'm thinking, you know, we're working darker, but we also need to go and bring in some warmer oranges and some things. So I like this one right here because it's not quite as saturated as some of these other ones. Uh, but we'll just kind of come in and start to bring out the underside of that curl. Maybe start to kind of work on this area right in here. Let's go ahead and grab this one. Just defining some, some warmer values in there. Now again, I wanted to hit the S key to swap and just kind of clean up as I go here in this lesson. So we'll just kind of run that eraser around the edges, kind of clean that up. And that way we can see if we need to come a little bit darker, maybe go back with this one here, shrink that down some, kind of hit this area right in here a little bit more. Really kind of pulling out these shadows. Uh, let's go with maybe this one again. And maybe even this orange right here. And we can come in and use our colorless blender if we need to do a little cleanup. Let's clean that off some. I'm gonna hit that area right there a little bit. just to soften that transition there. All right, fantastic. So we're kind of at this point right now where it's really more about detailing. Uh, we've got a lot of the major forms kind of hammered out and we're coming in here and basically adding in some additional color and value to kind of further define those. So maybe we want to put in a little bit more of a shadow in this area. Go ahead and grab an orange here. Maybe a little less saturated one. And then let's blend this in. Just like so. All right, fantastic. So um, also at this step of the game, it's kind of about coming in and, and maybe using our super brush nib to come in and maybe hit some of these areas underneath these smaller strands. So uh, let's think about maybe starting with this purple right here. And we'll just make that a little bit larger. And I'm gonna come in and just run this right underneath this strand of hair right here. I don't wanna cover that entire thing, so it may take a couple passes, but uh, we'll use our eraser here. Kinda of clean that up, make sure we got what we needed. May need to even go a little darker here. So obviously we don't need to blend st stuff like this. This is uh, strands of hair that really are pretty much gonna have two tones to them. You're gonna have your shadow, then you're gonna have your, uh, your highlight kind of on the top of them. All right, we went ahead and got those. Let's go ahead and get this one right here as well. This one's a little thicker. We might think about bringing in some, some reds or some oranges in here. Let's go ahead and go with maybe this one. And we'll hit it with a little bit of an orange as well. All 
All right, that's starting to look really nice. So uh, I want to come in here and start to, again, bring my super brush in. And I'm just going to increase the size of that just a little bit. I want to start to kind of bring out some striations in this area right here. And if you need to, you can come in and turn on your steady stroke so that you can get some nice detailing type strokes here. I'm going to come in, detail this a little bit more right around in this area, kind of blending in some of those tones. And let's come in with maybe a red. Starting to kind of just bring in some more, uh, some finer details here. I could probably spend a little bit more time on this upper area, this ponytail. It is kind of muddy right now, and I feel like um, it could be fixed a little bit better than it currently is. But that's just purely a matter of, uh, just a, really a matter of time spent. And we've already spent quite a bit of time on the hair here, so uh, we're ready to move on. All right, so we're looking really pretty good with our hair at this point. Now, one thing I do want to make sure that we don't forget to do is come over here and work on this little uh, headband or this scrunchie, whatever you want to call it. So uh, we're going to come over and grab our medium nib again. And let's go ahead and just say we want this to match your shirt. And uh, we're going to begin working on our shirt in the next lesson. But for the shirt and the, the headband, I want that to be sort of a, a pink color. So we're going to bring in some really cool reds some uh, some purples, some things like that. So uh, let's go ahead and start off with, um, let's see here. Turn off colorless blender, turn off our steady stroke. Maybe start off with this one here. Now I didn't come in and plan out for any highlights on this, but that's okay. We're gonna just kind of work in right on our hair layer. I'm also gonna be really careful that we're not getting this color into our hair as well, so. If you'd rather do this on a separate layer, by all means, it's completely up to you. But I think we can be careful and, and uh, keep the purples out of the hair. We've already got quite a bit of purple in the hair, so uh, let's come over here, slide over one. Maybe think about... Um, let's go with this one. And if we need to, we can always blend that a little bit. It's a relatively small area that we're covering right now. So obviously these little areas that I've shaded in with my ink pen, kind of between the folds of this, are going to be darker. So we can even come in and really kind of hit those with a nice saturated color here. And let's come in here, maybe and grab, see what this one looks like. No, maybe this one. You kind of see how with that headband, I'm really not taking much time to blend things together. It's okay. Let's come in here maybe with this one and I'm going to hit this other side a little. So we've gotten got this highlight running on the ridges there. I am trying to make sure my strokes go all the way to the edge of the headband. So uh, let me grab my eraser really quick and we'll clean this up. All right, fantastic. That's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that headband. Um, I think that um, in coloring that, we not only have got that area covered with color at this point, but we've also sort of set the tone for moving into the shirt. We kind of know what colors we're going to be using in uh, basically coming in and coloring this girl's shirt. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with that in the next lesson.